Hi everyone, welcome back. We will start building employee management full stack project. Well, here is a technology stack that we are going to use to build employee management system full stack project. So at the back end, we will use Spring Boot 3, Spring Data GP8 internally uses Hibernate 6 and we will use database as a MySQL database and we will use IntelliJ IDEA to develop the Spring Boot project. Next, we will use Maven as a build tool. Next, we will use Postman client to test the REST APIs. Next, at a front end, we are going to use React.js 18 plus and we will use Vite.js as a build tool and then we will use Bootstrap CSS framework to style the web pages. Next, we will use JavaScript. Next, we will use npm as a package manager. Next, we will use Visual Studio Code ID to develop the React application. Next, we will use Axios HTTP library to make a REST API call in a React application. So this is the technology stack that we are going to use to develop our employee management full stack project. Next, let us take a look into the requirements. In a requirement one, we will build crude REST APIs for employee management model. Well, we are going to basically build add employee, get employee, get all employees, update employee and delete employee REST APIs. Next, in a requirement two, we will build front end React application for employee management model. Well, in this module, the user should be able to perform these crude operations like user should be able to add a new employee, user should be able to list all the employees, user should be able to update the existing employee, user should be able to delete existing employee. Well, this is the full stack application architecture that we are going to follow in order to develop a full stack web application using Spring Boot and React JS. Well, this full stack application architecture follows client server model. At a client side, we will build a React frontend application. At a server side, we will build Spring Boot backend application. Well, notice here in this full stack application architecture, we are going to create a separate project for React frontend application and separate project for Spring Boot backend application. All right, and frontend application, backend application, both are loosely coupled. All right, so Spring Boot backend application will basically expose the REST APIs, and React frontend application will consume those REST APIs and both the applications are loosely coupled so at a front end we can also use different technologies to build the front end application for example instead of using react js you can also use angular js or Vue js to create the front end application because both front end application and back end applications are loosely coupled loosely coupled means both front end application and back end applications are independent to each other so you can develop front-end application using any JavaScript framework like you can use either React.js or AngularJS or Vue.js okay so this is basically a client server model so at a client side you can create front-end application using any JavaScript framework okay so let us take a look into some of the key components and their roles in this architecture so let us begin with Spring Boot backend application well in a Spring Boot backend application we will create the three layer architecture the controller layer service layer and DAO layer the DAO layer is responsible to talk with the database and service layer basically contains the business logic of the application and the controller basically contains the spring MUC controllers which exposes the rest apis next we have a react frontend application it consumes the rest apis that is exposed by spring boot backend application and in React Frontend application, we create the components, services, router, and React is not concerned with the HTTP library. We have to use third-party HTTP library to make our HTTP call. Okay, so in this project, we are going to use Axios HTTP library to make the HTTP call in a React application. Okay, and we are going to use a JSON format to exchange the data between React Frontend application and Spring Boot backend application. All right. So just remember react js is not concerned with http library we have to use the third party http library to make a http call in a react application and in this project we are going to use axios http library to make a http call in a react application all right so overall spring boot backend application exposes the rest apis react application consumes the rest apis all right so this is pretty much about spring boot react full stack application architecture all right, great. I will see you in the next lecture.